Moliere's Kingfisher Nanobubble Generator produces trillions of nanobubbles to restore water quality in lakes and ponds for golf courses, HOAs, and condos, irrigation reservoirs, and other smaller water bodies. The Kingfisher can be installed using PVC pipe or flexos depending on the local conditions and requirements. If installing with PVC pipe, you will need these additional items. For temporary installations, flex hooks can be used. Refer to the manual for more information. The following tools are required for installation. The following items are required for electrical. To begin the installation of the Kingfisher, remove the unit from the packaging and inspect the unit for shipping damage. Open the lid and remove components from inside the unit. Inspect inside unit for shipping damage. Hand tighten any loose fittings and connections. Piping connections, spare O-rings, cabinet key are shipped inside the box. Save these for later use. The unit also comes with a quick start guide, strainer basket and clean in place or CIP kit. Scan the QR code on the Quick Start Guide to download the complete owner's manual and other useful product information. Find a flat, level surface near the lake or pond within 3 feet of a 15 amp, 120 volt standard GFCI outlet. Do not use an extension cord to supply power to your Kingfisher. When possible, we recommend a concrete pad or pavers to create a flat and stable location for installing your Kingfisher. Take note of the orientation of the intake and discharge to the location of the water body. We recommend installing the unit no more than six feet above the water line. Due to site conditions, if you need to install above this elevation, a check valve must be installed on the suction side for easier priming of the pump. For optimal performance, the suction and discharge pipes should be below 20 feet each. Total pipe length should be no more than 40. The intake consists of the included suction screen and depending on the height of installation above water line, a check valve. Depending on the water body conditions, a larger screen may be needed. Ensure the check valve is installed with the flow arrow in the direction of suction flow so as not to restrict flow from the water body to the pump. Install the check valve above the high water mark of the water body to maintain accessibility for inspection and service. The discharge pipe should be installed at the deepest part of the water body, at least three feet deep. Using PVC glue, attach hard or flexible one and a half inch PVC piping to the two included connectors Hand tighten connections onto the pump and discharge. Do not use tools to tighten. Your Kingfisher Nano Bubble Generator comes with a microdose ozone unit. If your local regulations do not allow use of ozone, please consult the operating manual to bypass the ozone. Bypassing the ozone generation will not have a material effect on the performance of your Nano Bubble Generator. To start up the Kingfisher Nano Bubble Generator, plug it into a GFCI outlet with a minimum 15 amp breaker. 1. Remove the pump basket lid by rotating anti-clockwise. 2. Using a bucket, pre-fill the pump basket with approximately 1 gallon of water. 3. Reinstall the basket lid until it is hand tight. 4. Push start button to start system. 5. Wait until the pump basket fills with water, which can take up to 5 minutes. Ensure that once the pump is primed and running that there are no suction or discharge leaks. Ensure the pump is not cavitating or starved of water. This condition could be caused by a restriction in the line or by incorrectly installing the pump at an elevation greater than 6 feet above the water level. Use a spray bottle of soapy water to check for any gas leaks in the gas supply system inside the Kingfisher. Observe the bubble pattern in the water. The bubble pattern visible at the surface above the discharge should consist primarily of small bubbles, roughly the size of a pea or smaller. Maintenance. On a regular basis, at a minimum monthly, we recommend inspecting the following. Clean the pump basket strainer. Check the pump motor for overheating. Inspect the tubes for damage. Check the strainer on the suction side for debris and clean as needed. Check to see if the green LED light on the ozone generator is on. 
Instructions for these maintenance procedures can be found in the owner's manual. Moliere recommends a clean in-place or CIP at least once per month for optimal performance. Local water and environmental conditions may require more or less frequent CIP. As a general rule, you should also regularly check the gas pressure at startup. If the pressure increases over time, a CIP must be performed. The pressure gauge indicates when the CIP needs to be performed. Clean in place or CIP. To perform a CIP, start by turning off the unit and isolating the Kingfisher from the water body. Drain any water from the system. Assemble the CIP kit by connecting the syringe to the type and inserting the fitting at the end of the tube. Prepare the cleaning solution. Household bleach, Lysol, and CLR are commonly available. Dissolve or mix 25 milliliters of the solution. Introduce the cleaning solution by releasing the clamp below the check valve. Disassemble the tube and the check valve and put the CIP tube into the tube that goes to the nano bubble generator. Slowly inject about 25 milliliters of cleaning solution into the nano bubble generator. Allow the cleaning solution to soak for a minimum of 15 minutes. Rinse the system by injecting clean water with the same syringe to flush out the cleaning solution. Flush three times with clean water. Reconnect all tubes and pipes and follow startup procedures to restart the Kingfisher. For more information and to register your Kingfisher, visit Moliere's website. Moliere, advancing nanobubble technology.